New poll reveals a majority of Rhode Islanders oppose using taxpayer dollars for a new Pawsock Stadium in Providence. And as eyewitness news reporter Madeline Wright tells us, a slim margin also backs the governor's truck toll plan. She joins us now with new details from this latest poll. The Paw Sox plan to build a baseball stadium in downtown Providence failed partly because of lack of support. A new survey shows just how unpopular the proposal was. The proposal ran into huge public opposition from the start, sparking protests. The Paw Sox owners originally wanted 120 million taxpayer dollars to help relocate the AAA team from Pawtucket to Providence. They also wanted free waterfront land. Last month, the team backed out of the plan. Gary Sass works for a group that did a survey on this and other topics. He's the director of Bryant University's Hassenfeld Institute for Public Leadership. While a majority of people, over 60%, uh, would favor efforts made to keep the uh, poor Sox in Rhode Island. Uh, very few people, only 20 percent, uh, think that the taxpayer should fit any of the bill to keep the poor Sox here. The results of the survey released on Tuesday show that a whopping 74 percent of Rhode Islanders oppose taxpayer assistance for a new ballpark. The poll is one of four the Institute conducts every year. The practical applications of the poll uh, is to provide uh, elected officials and leaders with some idea of what the public's thinking, what the public priorities are. The poll also touched on another controversial topic, truck tolls. A small majority think that we should charge truckers, large truckers, to fix up the bridges. According to the survey, 52% of Rhode Islanders support tolling large trucks, while 43% are against it. The survey also included other topics like jobs, taxes, and education. For more, head to our website, WPRI.com. In the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.